welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nicole Addis with Prospect to Win. Before we get started, just I'd like to remind you to quickly click the subscribe button down below. Today, I have someone special with me, Tammy Williams, another colleague, entrepreneur, and uh, we work, we both work in sales. So I thought I'd bring her on. Introduce yourself, Tammy, any way you would, any which way you choose. First of all, I'm going to say thank you so very much. I feel so honored. Uh, you're doing some amazing things out there. I mean, from your, your blog writing that you're doing, you just became an international selling author once again, published, and you're doing so much things that people take for granted, I think, in the whole sales process and understanding that if they're working at the company, that's great, but they need a professional like you to kind of like, you know, put them through the process. So thank you. I'm so happy to be here because we had a little bit of a conversation before talking about some of our similarities in sales. Um, before I go into it, I just wanted to say like, I'm a mom, I'm a wife. I still make my husband's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm an entrepreneur at heart and I worked in the sales space. I think probably like since I was a teenager, similar to you, I was selling uh, appointments for uh, Electrolux vacuum cleaner. I'm dating myself right now. <laughs> That's the typical, <laughs> the typical telemarketing role. Yeah, the trial right. done for me. Exactly. And Click. then, yeah, so I guess what happened was I was really good with the conversation I was having with people. And somehow I ended up going into that space without even wanting to be in there. <laughs> and so my sales spans uh, more than 20 years. Um, everything from business to consumer to business to business. And so um, I'm just thrilled to be able to work with entrepreneurs, you know, in this space right now, because it's it's been one of those times, you know, where people are trying to figure out where they fit in this world now with all the technology and everything, social media. So that's pretty much me in a nutshell. That's it. It's true. With social media, is like people are just going crazy with it. And sometimes it gets overwhelming, right? Yeah. Like sometimes you just feel lost without your phone, like you're just lost. So I know one of the things you get into is, you know, emailing and texting. So you have uh, a promo of emailing and texting like a boss. So could you maybe offer some tips on, you know, what you see people doing right and wrong and what they can do to improve? Yes, because unlike a telephone, people can't feel your energy. They can't feel your happiness and your enthusiasm and it gets lost in translation with our email and our texting. So I have a little system that I work and it's very effective. We've done some little tests before with individuals saying just a plain text. And I think we've all got those texts where it just has information and a date and a time. Okay. But you know the number it's coming from in most cases, right? Not always. And you're like, okay, well, they didn't say hello. They didn't say good morning. And how do they know that I don't have the knowledge already in that space? So I'm a big fan of people trying to find who that audience is, first of all, with the text. You don't even know, they might have just lost their dog. They might be in the middle of moving. So why not check in with that individual first before you send the text? Now, it does take a little bit more time, but guess what? I just said this before, you cannot rush baking a cake. The same thing with texting. So what I tell people is to compartmentalize. So if say, for example, if you're planning to do 20 texts um, a day, but your goal is to do a hunch or whatever that is for the week, you can actually say, okay, today I'm going to do 10 because life is busy, right? Mm -hmm. But then it gives you a chance to do something a little bit more, give them more meat and potatoes. So right. I'm, I think it's really important that people have forgot the most important part of a phone. So just think of this now, if you receive the text with a date and event, and you just came out of that same type of a course or training, would you respond to my text? No, I'd be no. like, who is this? They're like, right. it's too advertising like, that's the problem. And if you don't know the person and it's just random, it's like, you know what, goodbye. Or, or sometimes you might get those like fraudulent, <laughs> Right, you don't know, like a call from like halfway across the planet, across the world and, you know, please check out your account and, and uh, you know, you don't know who you're dealing with basically. So I like your idea, do the work first. It's like what I say with the prospecting and the cold calling, do your work first and then you can follow up. And then text is a great way to follow up if you, if they prefer it that way. It's yes, tricky, yes. right? Some people are too casual about it. And some people are, you know, like corporate clients, you have to watch it with that. They may not appreciate that. 
you just, it really just depends where you are along in the relationship with that individual. And for Absolutely. God's sake, say their Absolutely. name. And then right, text. right. It's like, again, <laughs> knowing your audience, right? So like, yeah. you know, for example, like, I think I'm important and you're important, but how is it that I now expect you to remember me? When I didn't say in the text message, hi, Nicole, it's Tammy. We met at the fair in Markville mm -hmm. Mall. You know, right. at least there's something there. You had a, a beautiful pink purse or you were caring, you know, your son or whatever the case may be. At least then it can give you something to kind of help you jog your memory. Right. Mm -hmm. And yep. we touched on this business idea or this event, whatever the case may be. I wanted to say some information a little bit more personalized. And I think people have lost that. They really think that they're that important. So you're going to remember <laughs> that, hey, Nicole is Tammy. Okay, so Tammy who? Uh, Nicole who? Like, can you jog my memory? Because someone that's busy, we are meeting people all the time. That's so right. So try to put a little bit more personal personalization in that. The other thing, too, is with the email. I'm not, I like email marketing campaigns, but with the emails that I'm actually sharing with people, I'm not so much of a fan of the mass emailing. You okay. know when you're a part of a thousand or ten thousand emails. You just know it. Right. So I do believe that there's a way to get responses because you know the numbers are out there, like the number of opens, number of views, mm -hmm. you know, how many people actually opt out. <laughs> right. You know, we don't want to see those numbers. And from an advertising side of it, we had to specialize in knowing those numbers for people. You know, we had an opt in email list and where they opted in to receive it. And it was over 60,000 names because we had done such a great job of getting the right people to subscribe to the email. We were able to charge $999 for a company to send it out to our list. That's amazing. Yes. You don't hear that kind of stuff. You don't and hear it. With like entrepreneurs, like you just don't hear it. No. That's amazing. That's no. like very focused, uh, very like targeted. That's Definitely. awesome. Yeah. And the subject line is the key thing with getting your email opened, mm -hmm. right? So that's why, again, if you want to send out a thousand emails, do it in, you know, in a little bit of a spacing where you have so many you're sending out per week, you're sending out per, any per month, that type of thing, as opposed to just thinking, okay, I'm going to do a gunshot. I'm going to do them all today. You're right. losing the personal touch there, right? right? So always adding something in there. You know, there's a, a radio station, we always say, with them, the best radio station in the world. What's in it for me? Right, right. It's <laughs> right? true. So we have to make sure it's compelling enough that they want to respond. So now, what I just give, yeah. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, sorry. go ahead. Yeah, no, it's so exciting to me. I could talk about it forever. So just oh, I tell know. me when. <laughs> no, I, you know, one area I want to talk about, because I know we didn't talk about this yet, was what's up, right? People are sending what's up messages now. Like people are sending all kinds of stuff. And I, I find, I personally, I love WhatsApp, but you know, I don't know what your take is on that. Like what's your, I think you're kind of, you know, I believe that there's a time and a place for everything that we have. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do with the people I'm working with is try to figure out if this person is cell phone, a text worthy, mm -hmm. email worthy or WhatsApp worthy, because you can come across a bit creepy if you send something on WhatsApp, because traditionally people are using WhatsApp for family and personal things, mm -hmm. but now people are incorporating business and that's where it gets a little bit odd because there's so much fraudulent activity going on. So right. I also like to ask my potential people that I'm going to be working with, what's the best form of communication that you like? Exactly. So even though I have your contact information, I have your phone number, I have your email. If you tell me, Nicole, you prefer email only, why would I text you? Exactly. Exactly. See, it's, it's, and there's so many avenues. There's LinkedIn, there's Facebook. I mean, Messenger's gotten to be like really, really big for this stuff. Like I remember about, you know, even just like six months to a year ago, I'm like, I'm never going to do business through Facebook. Never, ever. And here I am doing business. That was me Facebook. too. <laughs> I, was like, never, I was not going to have a Facebook account. Yeah, because well, I'll tell you why, because you get everything and anything on Facebook, like for, you know, for example, with LinkedIn, it's, you know, all business to business. It's clear what it's for. It's right. crystal clear. 
with Facebook, you've got, you know, all kinds of stuff. You got people trying to like pick up, pick you up on Facebook for God's sake, right? Like you've got like, whoa, like, that's not the right this is not no, the right site for that. It's no, it's me. not the but people treat it as such. It's crazy, mm-hmm. right? So you have a what I'm trying to say is you have a spectrum to weed out. But as I've learned what those cues are and as I've learned, you know, as time has gone on, it becomes easier and easier and easier to weed all that stuff out. And it's surprisingly, I find Messenger like a great way to do business where I thought like, you asked me this six months to a year ago, I'd be like, are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? I can't imagine that. So it's just using each channel, each platform differently, each method, I call it a channel, but each method differently. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. WhatsApp, text, Messenger, LinkedIn, it's how it's used. And I like what you said, asking for people's permission. You know, you have to ask for permission and you also have to understand if they're not responding to you in one place, you don't have to start bombarding them in five other different places. Like, you know, I'm great with follow-up and I, you know, I can be a little bit relentless sometimes, but even me, I can't do that because, you know, how far are you going to go before you really piss somebody off? Right. Like you will, right? You just will. So Exactly. And I think people forget that Facebook is only one of the mediums to use. Mm -hmm. So sometimes what they'll do is they'll send you an event without even saying hello, without even checking to see what your day is like, or not even looking at your post to realize you're at a funeral, you know, or something has really, really bad has happened. And then they send it to you again. They send it to you again. And realizing that, that person might not live just in Facebook. They're in other platforms. And so that's why it's so important. I know people say, oh, it's so time consuming, but you know, nothing worth having comes quickly. Right. And I'm a big fan of the quality of people, you know, in terms of a large quantity of people, because 10 people, 20 people that you nurture this way will add into hundreds very easily. So never mind the numbers, you know, you know, you want to put, and you know, being a salesperson, you probably, yeah, were you in this kind of space where you had to get out these many calls, you had this, this many phone appointments, you know, yeah. you had to have this many face to face appointments. And what I realized over trial and error that I, myself and another lady that we worked with, we had the less, the least amount of face to face appointments. We had the least amount of phone calls, but we had, we were in the top sales of the company. Amazing. I love it. So it was about effective, being effective, right? With the little bit of people that you had, you know, I was watching. It's how you approach the conversation. Yeah. 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 So that's one of the things about the Facebook. And then also too, with so many people taking so many courses and being like a, I guess you can say a forever student, Mm -hmm. we don't even know if now they teach and offer what you want them to come to. <laughs> right. So that's why I'm always saying, check where that person is, know your audience, because now you want to just offend them. They're inviting me to this. I just I just took six months of this course, you know, without even getting a chance to gauge where you're at in life. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. People just want that quick response, want it now, don't care how you feel. <laughs> and and also like with Messenger, I'm used to like these, like this is like the creepy side of things, right? I'm used to like, have you heard about the government grant program? Oh my goodness. Have you heard about, and it's like, okay, it's time to block. And I'm like, seriously? Like, and you already know where the conversation is going. It starts with, hey, how are you? Like, so it's like I already know like yeah. there's two or three lines I know where they're going even before they go there right it's time to click block okay <laughs> it's time to click block goodbye it's good to know you right yeah so all this stuff we have to kind of navigate and for somebody who's not used to it it's it's daunting right it's right. really daunting so look mm-hmm. I really appreciate your time today Thank you. Thank you. What is the best way for people to reach out to you if they need help with marketing? The famous Facebook. Okay. The famous Facebook, because what I do notice is that we have a lot more people who have taken a hobby and now they're going to make it into a business and they don't know the first thing about all of the fundamentals with sales and marketing, because that's not their forte. Right. So that's right. the best place to reach me is uh, Tammy Williams on Facebook. That's the best spot. 
Perfect, perfect. So I really appreciate your time today. I just like to remind everyone to please click the subscribe button. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.